Now to an update on the story we brought you is breaking news at noon yesterday. That chaotic crash involving a group of suspects all suspected of stealing mail. Their car ended up flipped over right by railroad tracks. Let's go now to local town news reporter Leanne Motahong. She's live for us at that scene with the very latest. Leanne, fill us in. And I did just speak to Miami-Dade police who tell me that none of the four people that they took into custody yesterday are facing charges at this hour. The feds are now investigating this incident because all of these suspects are believed to have committed some type of mail theft earlier in the day. Signs of a high-speed impact still evident inside this quiet cul-de-sac Thursday morning. The wall was the only thing keeping the car from crashing into a woman's home in southwest Miami-Dade. I heard a loud, like a bomb. Barbara Diaz was inside and called 911. One foot more and they will be in my house because they stopped right there where a car was. Sky 10 flew above the scene Wednesday showing the flipped car. They jumped railroad tracks and barreled through the wall near Southwest 137th Avenue and 143rd Street. A neighbor surveillance camera picked up two young women running from the crash scene right to a front porch, seemingly bloody and barefoot. Miami-Dade police say officers started following the car in question after getting reports of people stealing mail from a neighborhood. The guy flew by about 100 miles an hour. Israel Hernandez was working nearby and saw the speeding Dodge Challenger hit another white car before crashing into the wall. He just walked out of the car stumbling and everything and then the cop the cops were right away on top of them. Cell phone video shows one man being taken into custody by police. More video shows officers and paramedics arriving on the scene. First responders used a gurney to wheel one person into an ambulance. That individual was covered in a yellow tarp as seen by air and on the ground. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says at least two people suffered traumatic injuries. They were running away from the police and this is what happened. By night, the smashed up car was eventually loaded onto a flatbed and hauled away. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service says that they do not have anyone in federal custody at this time, but they are actively investigating this incident. For now, reporting live in Southwest Miami, Dade, Leanne Morihome, Local 10 News.